Hello champions and future champions, hello chessmood family. GM Gabuzian is here with you and we are going to begin with our daily lesson. Today we are going to be a very fun and exciting topic which is called Anastasia's mate. This mate is when knight is controlling some squares of the king, there is a pawn or some obstacle in front of it and the heavy piece is checkmating. So this is a very simple situation, what is checkmating with rook h4 move? Soon we will see this example getting more and more complex, but the idea is mostly gonna be the same. So let's go ahead to see the next position. It's almost the same example with a few differences, but as I mentioned the idea is gonna be the same. So it's white to move, guys, you can pause the video and think how to checkmate here. Obviously we are playing 97 check. King h8, so knight is controlling the required squares, pawn is here as well, and we are playing queen h7 check, king h7, and getting again Anastasia's mate with rook h4 move. So these examples were a bit simple, now let's go ahead and make the level of difficulty higher. Let's go to see it. It's a complex middle game position in this game, and by black is playing world champion Magnus Carlsen. So, how to play for black in this position, guys. The thing is, now pawn on g4 is an obstacle for our rook to make a checkmate, also it's not allowing us to checkmate with queen h5 move. But if we combine these ideas, guys, the thing is now after it takes, we're able to play rook h4 and now it's a checkmate. So we're just getting rid of this obstacle and easily checkmating. Let's go ahead to see the next one. I love this example because it's a beautiful one. Let's see how to play for white. You can again pause the video guys and think about it. In order to create Anastasia's mate, we're beginning with 97 check. Now, if black is going king f7, we're checkmating with queen f5, king e8 and knight c6. So it's a checkmate. For this reason, after 97 check, black is going king h8. Now there are several obstacles for the Anastasia's mate to happen, but we can get rid of all of them. It's happening. Queen h7 check, king takes h7, rook h4 check, pawn takes h4, and now rook h5 check mate. White lost all of the heavy pieces, but with one knight and the last heavy pieces left, which is the rook on h5, white is easily checkmating. Simple, beautiful setup. Let's go ahead to see the next one. In this position is white to move again, we are now missing a piece. Also there are several obstacles on our way to make this beautiful checkmate. Let's try to pause the video guys and think and this time I will tell you it's gonna be a little difficult, so try to concentrate and clearly find it. In order to give 97 check, we firstly need to get rid of this bishop. We are playing rook d6, pawn takes. So now we can be giving this check, but it would be even better to get rid of this bishop. The thing is guys that after 97 check, king h8, bishop h7 doesn't make sense, black will be able to defend with some knight f6 kind of move, preventing rook h3. So it's not the case. For this reason, after c takes d6, we are also getting rid of our bishop playing. Bishop takes b7 with a tempo attacking the queen and the rook. And only after it takes, we are playing knight e7 check, king h8 and your favorite queen h7 move. Followed by king h7 and rook h3 checkmate. At the beginning, white got rid of this bishop on d6, which was preventing 97 check, also gave away the bishop and clearly managed to make this Anastasia's checkmate. Let's go ahead to see the next position. In this position, guys, it's black to move. We're again missing a piece, so concrete actions are required. This example is also very beautiful. You can pause the video and think about it. Again, we can't be giving knight e to check since there is a knight on g3, so we need to get rid of it. We are getting rid of this knight taking on f1. So this knight is staying in the game after knight f1, but the thing is e2 square is now not under control. We can easily play knight e2 check, king h1. The thing is that after rook h6 check, white is playing knight h2. And the good news is we have second rook on the 6th rank, so now we are able to play 
Rook takes h2 check, king takes h2, and rook h6 checkmate. Black again lost many pieces, but this final setup, which is called a mate, is enough to consider this game as a winning one. Let's go ahead to see the next position. Here again, it's white to move. Both sides are attacking on the kings on king side and queen side. Example is really very difficult guys, so this time thinking for white you need to concentrate and try to find it. It's white to move and I'm waiting for your suggestions. So first of all if we try to attack with knight e6 and checkmate, black will have some h5 move, preventing all the threats. So it's not working and knight e6 is not the thing. That's the reason we are beginning with rook h6 check, getting rid of this pawn. If now black is ignoring this and going king to g7, white may be playing rook h2, protecting on b2 and now the h file is open, so some dangerous threats will be available soon, this will be good for white. So let's see what's happening if black is accepting the sacrifice, king takes h6. Now if we are trying to play knight e6 check, black will just go king h7, queen h2 check, will go king g8, and the knight on e6 is hanging. So it's not the deal. Again, after king h6, we need to be very creative and find super strong bishop e6 move. In real, the idea is very simple. With a tempo, we are trying to open up the way for our rook to the h file. This will be very useful in future. For example, if black is now playing queen takes a6, we play knight e6 check, king h7 and again very beautiful queen h6 check. If black goes to g8, queen g7 is a checkmate. Or if black is taking, white is checkmating with the rook h1. This was the idea when we played bishop to a6 move. And it's a very beautiful checkmate. Also, if after bishop a6, black is trying to ignore this and still goes for rook takes b2, so trying to attack the queen. This doesn't make sense at all. We're again playing knight e6 check. Now if rook takes d2, rook h1 is again checkmating. Or if after knight e6 check black goes king h7, same queen h6 is working as well. This was the most difficult and I believe most beautiful example in this topic guys. Let's now go ahead to the next position where you will get your homework. In this end game it's black to move and black is missing a piece now. So this will be test position for you guys. You can share your thoughts and ideas in the comments section below. GM Gabuzian was here with you. Thank you for your subscriptions, likes and sharing this video with your friends. We appreciate it a lot. See you next time during our next daily lessons.